shooting my video on my recent favorite finds so definitely check that video out but uh up right now is a video about my about favorite fra fra get it out fragrances that i've done a 180 degree turn on okay we all get you know we all have fragrances that we had change of hearts on and um, so I just wanted to talk about two fragrances in particular that um, I might have had a couple of not so nice words about on uh, online somewhere, maybe base notes or whatever. I might have said they're overrated, and, you know, they're, they're not good, they're too sweet, too whatever, you know. And, um, and since then I've re visited them and I just I had a change of heart I did a 180 so this is my 180 video all right first up is Amawaj's Jubilation Jubilation I got a sample somewhere here here it is it's done though because uh this is the sample I got from uh Lucky Scents and then I also got um when I purchased Reflection, they gave me a two milliliter vial, and I went through that whole thing. And just, I mean, after that, after that was done, like I was, I was like, wow, <laughs> you know, like why didn't I get it? You know, why didn't I get it? <laughs> you know, um, it really grew on me. And on top of that, I discovered a really good layering. Um, believe it or not. Um, this, this one old school fragrance that's fairly popular, very strong, in fact, notorious for its strength, it layers very well with this. Very, very well. I don't even know why I thought it, that's why, I, you know, I, I came up with it because I said, Jubilation is nice, but it's like a, it's a mild kind of scent. It's not very strong. It has great longevity, and I believe the sillage is good, but it's just not strong. And I said, man, if we added something else to it, something maybe spicy, um, you know, this one could really come alive. The fragrance I'm talking about is Jupe. Well, it's spelled Jupe. You know, the fragrance has no, it's pronounced Yope. You know, it's, it's French. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, this and Yope together, yo, <laughs> that one is serious. I promise you guys. And I know a lot of people aren't big on layering. You know, they're like, oh, the, the designers spent so much time, you know, putting this concoction together, you know, leave it as is. Don't mess with the formula. But you got to try that layer in you guys. If you have, if you have yolk, try these two together. I'm telling you, like, it's it's pretty good. When I, when I wear them two together or when I went back when I still had some, I would do like a base of yolk to the chest and I would put the jub the jubilation over it and then um i may on my on the, my inner elbow i would do a layer of them both and then maybe my wrist i would just do jubilation so not everywhere would i blend it to but um sometimes you know in some spots i would just do jubilation by itself but that is definitely a good layer and even by itself by itself it's a, it's a good scent uh i do call my layering of the two jupe Jubilation, jubilation, jubilation. I know it's corny, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so that's the first. That's the first fragrance that I did a 180 on. Jubilation is pretty good stuff. Um, you know the Amoy fragrances are all expensive, but they're all well, not not all good, but most of them are good. 225 for a 100 milliliter fragrance is quite a bit. But uh, it may actually be worth it. I mean, if you have the money, definitely look into ju uh, Jubilation. All right. The second fragrance uh, I got a sample of at, uh, at Neiman Marcus. Can you guys see that? Yeah. At first I said I wasn't going to be one of those reviewers that have the, you know, the <laughs> show the, the vials all up in the camera. Like, why do you care to see a sample vial? <laughs> Pardon me, you guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's that's uh, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanilla. I have that on this hand. 
and wow, <laughs> why didn't I get that? Matter of fact, I sampled this one with uh, Back to Black, which I mentioned in the other video. This one, man, oh my god, I've so enjoyed wearing this. This one, I've done such a 180 on. I gotta get a bottle of this. <laughs> I know I'm late because everybody on YouTube is all over this and I don't know how I didn't get it but I tried this one over a year ago and I was quite underwhelmed by it truthfully but I don't I don't know what it was but this one it's so good I mean like I mean fall like you think of autumn you think of leaves on the ground and stuff like that man this one is hot <laughs> it's hot man Fall, winter, man, listen, I wore this a few, man, every time I wore this, I felt awesome. I was just waiting for, you know, a young lady to get close to me or something like that, like, do you smell it, do you smell it, you know, <laughs> no. but I mean, it's, this one is, it's really warm, of course you, you have, now, for the, I have to admit, I don't know what tobacco smells like, I've smelled like cigarettes and maybe cigars here and there, but I don't smoke, so I, you know, I can see it smelling like maybe like a black and mild cigarette. I can see it smelling like a little bit of that. You do get vanilla. Um, uh, cocoa is listed in the notes. Cocoa, and but I think more than that though, you get cinnamon. You definitely get cinnamon from this. You get cinnamon, vanilla. You do get a little bit of cocoa, for sure. This one though, the longevity is great. I can imagine the sillage is great because when I move around, I smell it. I can smell it on me definitely. And uh, I mean, it's just, it's this thick, rich smelling fragrance. You know, I have, uh, what is it? Ombre Nargiel. It kind of, well, it doesn't, the thickness of it reminds me of it. And the, the gourmandy, almost mouth wateriness of it, of, of Ombre Nargiel, reminds me of this and vice versa. Um, but they're not similar fragrances at all. At all. But this is definitely one of the better vanilla fragrances. Um, and I I must say, all the hype that it gets on YouTube, base notes, and in the fragrance world uh, all together, it is deserving. I, I, I didn't think I was going to do a 360 around this one. When I tried it at the Neiman Marcus uh, a few weeks back, I just said, you know, I just needed to, I just needed to confirm that I didn't like it, <laughs> you know, because since I first tried it and, and, and was underwhelmed by it, you know, I, I, I had continuously seen people rant and rave over it. So I said, let me just, let me just confirm that I don't like it, you know, and I sprayed it and I was like, <laughs> what was I thinking, <laughs> you know, so, um, yeah. Jubilation, Tobacco Vanilla. Those two are my 180 fragrances. Now, if there are fragrances that you guys have done a 180 on, please share, uh, you know, uh, comment. Let me know what you've done a, a, a 180 on. Um, I'm sure I've done 180s on, on uh, more fragrances than the one I just listed. And I've actually done, like, 180s in the reverse order where... I liked the fragrance at first, and then I, you know, I didn't like it so much. But that's the thing about fragrances. Oftentimes, you fall in and out of love with fragrances. So, uh, some of the fragrances, some of them that I actually own, um, with it first, and then after a while, the love kind of tapered off. But I still keep them in my arsenal because that's what that's how it is with fragrances. You fall in and out and back in love with fragrances. So. Um, I'm not, I don't know if I want to say it's a 180 quite yet, but it's, there are a couple of, it's, there's a couple of degrees of turning, not fully 180, <laughs> whatever. But anyways, so that's my video. Stay tuned for my last video, which is my hater video. You guys are going to like this one. All right, later.